The propaganda media of the aggressor country reported on the appearance of the new Russian S-350 Vitya's anti-aircraft missile system on the front line as early as the spring of 2023. In December, Ukrainian defenders reported the alleged successful destruction of vehicles from this enemy air defense complex with the help of FPV kamikaze drones in one of the areas of the front. The appearance of such anti-aircraft systems in the temporarily occupied territory creates new challenges for Ukrainian combat aircraft near the contact line, reconnaissance, and strike drones and cruise missiles. Therefore, it is important to consider the main characteristics of the S-350 and the prospects for its entry into the Russian army. The Almazanti Corporation started the creation of the Russian S-350 medium-range anti-aircraft missile system in 2007. During the design, the experience, and developments from the export project of the KM-SAM anti-aircraft missile complex, which the Russians created for South Korea after winning an international tender, were used. Funding from Korea made it possible to continue work on the Vitiaz complex. In 2012, a prototype of the complex was created, and the tests lasted from 2013 to April 2019. In December 2019, Almazanti handed over the first set of S-350 air defense systems to the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. And in February 2020, this kit was delivered to the 11th Training Center of the Anti-Aircraft Missile Forces in the Leningrad region for the training of future operators of this anti-aircraft missile complex. So, the first Vitiaz entered the Russian Aerospace Forces in 2020. The S-350 Vitiaz anti-aircraft missile system is designed to replace the S-300 PS and Buck M1-2 air defense systems, providing protection of administrative, industrial and military facilities from mass air attacks. It is stated that the complex is capable of simultaneously repelling attacks by various means of air attack from different directions. According to the Russians, the S-350 can destroy aerodynamic targets at a distance of up to 60 km and at an altitude of up to 30 km. The manufacturer claims that Vitiaz can defeat ballistic targets at a range of up to 30 km and at an altitude of up to 25 km. The complex can simultaneously attack up to 16 aerodynamic targets, aircraft, UAVs, cruise missiles, or 12 ballistic targets. The time to deploy the system to the combat position is 5 minutes. The composition of the complex includes Combat Control Point 50K6A Up to two multifunctional radio location stations 506 Up to eight self-propelled launchers 50P6A